Welcome to Face to Face. And today we're going to talk about politics. We're going to go, well, we're going to stay in New York, in New York State. And we're going to speak with Jessica about her campaign for state senators. And I think it's the first time we have a politician into the show. So welcome, Jessica. Oh, well, thank you for having me, David. I still don't feel so comfortable with the word politician, but political I know, candidate, is political fine. candidate is fine. <laughs> So we know each other for many years. We have done many things together. We have. And uh, it's really a pleasure to have you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for having me. So how is the campaign going? Well, it's going really well. Yeah. We are now 24 days away from Election Day, which is Thursday, September 13th. Exactly. People um, have to go. Yes. And it's the Democratic primary. So in mm -hmm. order to vote, you have to be a registered Democrat. Yeah. Um, but it's going really well. You know, we're out there with uh, volunteers mm -hmm. every day, knocking on doors, mm -hmm. getting our message out to voters um, and making sure that we're turning out as many people as possible. Yeah. Um, because the goal here is, is, is not only to win, but to have an engagement. To the people to get in with, with you. You were very comfortable into the city working for the mayor and then something happened and you took the decision to what's what what what's the story? It's true. Something major <laughs> happened. Um, so, so I, I'm the former uh, director of community and ethnic media for the city of New York, yeah. um, and it was a dream job by every oh, yeah. means. Driver, um, everything. <laughs> no, not no, because of that, but rather because of the work that we were and doing. Then you keep the door, opening right. no, the door for no, people. No, and making making sure that our immigrant communities, everybody yeah. who who's. Um, main language isn't English, yeah. uh, knew about all of the initiatives and resources that the city of New York has available to them. Um, I, I really felt like it was a validation and of my career. And it's the city to be able to get connected to the community also. Oh, it's, it's, it go both ways. I mean, yeah. it's very, it was, I yeah. see a couple of... Absolutely. But then Donald then, Trump got elected. Yeah. And um, a couple of days after the inauguration, Donald Trump announces his first Muslim ban. Mm -hmm. And on that very same day, our state senator, the current state senator, Jose Peralta, mm -hmm. decided to announce that he was uh, going to deflect from the Democratic caucus in the state and Senate join IDC. and join the Independent Democratic Conference, which was empowering a Republican majority. But he played with that game before. It was, a, it was not a new game. No, it's, so it, it was the first time that he joined the IDC, okay, okay. Um, and so he's been supporting a Republican majority for the past two years, for the yeah. past two legislative sessions. Okay. Uh, they claim that they came back now, but we're, they're not going to vote for a new majority leader until the new legislative session begins in January. Okay. So now that the budget for the year has been passed the damage is done. We've yeah. already uh, seen a regressive Republican budget that doesn't fully fund our schools, that doesn't fix the MTA, that certainly doesn't pass rent reform laws to make sure that we're keeping New York affordable for working families. Mm -hmm. It doesn't address any of the actual crises that we're living as New Yorkers. Yeah. So, um, so you took the decision to run, and, and then, so how did you get the support? How did, I mean, you had already many years of activism and, and contact and, and people who are, I'm sure, ready to yeah. help. No, it's, so it's true. I mean, I, I have been involved yeah. in local, hyper-local politics yeah. Yeah. and a little bit of transnational politics yeah. Yeah. for a very, very long time. It's the mm -hmm. way I was raised. Yeah. My mom and dad mm -hmm. are, are mm -hmm. activists. My exactly. dad was on the community board before me. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of the only lifestyle I know mm -hmm. um, is, is public service. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, um, you know, I felt very strongly that the state senator needed to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. um, and ultimately, it it was, I think, important as a mom specifically uh, that I show my boys what a strong woman looks like and, and what a strong woman does. And um, it, we just can't continue to allow a Republican wannabe to be the representative for the most diverse district in this country. It's true. I mean, you are in the middle of, I mean, Elmos Hospital is 133 languages. That's where I, I was mean, born. It's, that's where you were born. So it's really, it's a very... <laughs> and then... I think it's a good moment for, for you as a profile. I mean, we saw the, you know, the, the, the Crowley story and, and, and what happened. I mean, it's still, I think a lot of people are in shock and, and, and try to understand what was the story there. Yeah, I mean, 
I think what has been the strongest message coming out of that election is that people are not satisfied with the status quo. And now that um, there are even more people engaged in politics because of Donald Trump, because of the resistance, right, in that movement, what we want to make sure that we do is use that juncture, this juncture that we're at, to write the ship, right, to, to correct the course of our state as well, because everybody kind of sees New York as this beacon of progressivism, um, but who, it's who not. Is, who is, who is, uh, but it's, it's not. It's very questionable. Because, it's very questionable. Because I, mm -hmm. And even for the Democratic Party, I have a lot of, in quote, reservation about this, this progressive story, because it's a lot of things we could have done than we are not doing, and, and it's and it's go against, you know, the... the, 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 the the people. I mean, the income, access to uh, access to health, access to housing. Housing, it's a disgusting. Yeah, we we have a lot of catching up to do with the French. I know, it's, um, it's, but, um, know but it, it starts. It, but it starts. You know what? It starts with our campaign finance system mm -hmm. and the fact that there is just so much money and corporate money oh, no. and developer money specifically and big pharma and fossil fuels and the charter school lobby and anti-union lawyers who just funnel a ton mm -hmm. of money into our political no, system. And it's real and that, estate yeah. and people and vote that's needs to be and it's vote for their real estate. They yeah. want to keep the value of their house. So it's, it's a very complicated because it's really on the ground. I mean, I don't know at the, the state level, but at, at the local level, at the city level, city council level, it's really a big challenge. No, it, so, it is. It, it's actually a worse challenge at the state level yeah. because at least the city council has camp, a campaign finance system ah, that allows true. for yeah. more working people to yeah. be able to run for office. That's true. For, this, for state elections, there is nothing. A dollar oh. is a dollar. And you can contribute. You cannot match you can contribute. There is no oh, matching I did, donations. I did, I did, I did. And you no, but you can <laughs> contribute up to seven thousand dollars to a state senate uh, wow. race, for example, which is astronomical, yeah. right? It's it 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 hinders, um, you know, a political process that's responsive to actual individual New Yorkers. Mm -hmm. um, so so fighting for campaign finance reform to level the playing field mm -hmm. so that more you know everyday New Yorkers can run for office, mm -hmm. I think is 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 a, is a serious priority if we're going to change the way um, New York uh, governs and the way uh, the the way the state's government government looks like. So it's a funny story a little bit where people don't understand what New York State does for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a great question. No, 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 because it's more you see the United States, the state has a lot of powers. Yeah. Much more than what people want to 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 give them. I mean, it's, the state has a constitution, and and you can. Uh, so so I think it's under evaluate the 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 power, and and then so I think candidates like you can change not just talking the the, the issues, but also the value of what a state in the United yeah. States means. And I think if we mm. see the gay right movement. It developed because of the state. Yeah, no, it, is, it, didn't, it, it was not done at the federal level. It was done at the state by state story. And it's every state who count and makes the, the, the process working. So um, how do you see the, the general tendency for New York? It, it's, it's going on the right in the progressive direction or on the... No. No. <laughs> Thanks for the good news. <laughs> we have we have a lot of work to do yeah. in New York, starting with the governor and starting with the state senate. Um, you know, so so for those who so don't state, know, yes. for there, there's a governor, and then we have a two chamber yeah. legislative body in uh -huh. New York. There's the New York State Assembly, and there's mm -hmm. the New York State Senate. The New York State Assembly has a wide Democratic majority that keeps churning out progressive legislation every year, every year for decades, and then. When when it comes to, to the, Senate. the state Senate, Nothing. that's it. It hits a wall. A Nothing happens because there's been a Republican majority. And there's re the reason there's been a Republican majority is because of the Independent Democratic Conference. Um, and so that's why, that's why that needs to change. But Cuomo killed that conference. 
and Cuomo also created that conference. Oh, okay. Right? I mean, so. he, he has used it as a firewall in order to allow uh, only legislation that he wants to mm -hmm. happen mm -hmm. because he's beholden to the interests that donate to his campaign. Okay. Right? Um, so it's why, you know, even though the, the governor and the state senate can tout accomplishments like uh, raising the minimum wage to $15, even though it was only really in New York, for example, in Rockland County, they haven't gotten $15 yet. It was completely watered down legislation. Mm -hmm. So was raised the age, so was paid uh, uh, parental leave. Um, these are all things that have happened um, because the governor finally wanted them to happen. And I don't know about you, but if we have a Democrat as governor, it just shouldn't be so hard to pass progressive oh, no, legislation. I know. I know. The, 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 the transactional nature no. of those politics. Either they need to redefine what Democrat mean mm -hmm. or, or having other people, but it, it doesn't match. That I agree, totally agree. Yeah. That it's yeah. no, no question about so, it. So these races are largely but about so, changing the party, and, too. And, and the campaign right now, the, the, the governor campaign, it's interesting? or it, it's I think it's very interesting, and I'm very openly supporting Cynthia Nixon yeah. for governor. Yeah. We, yeah. I mean, at, at a certain point, I think, as working families, as, as, as parents, as women, because a lot of people don't know that Roe v. Wade is not codified in the state of New York, right? Our reproductive rights are, as women yeah. aren't, aren't codified here in yeah. New York, and now they're even in more danger because mm -hmm. the Supreme Court may lean even more conservative, mm -hmm. right? And Roe mm -hmm. v. Wade may be overturned. Yeah. So at some point, as women, we have to say, well, if, you know, the governor and Peralta have said for the last eight years that they have my back, but they haven't been able to produce these yeah. protections that I yeah. need, no, I at some point, as women, we roll up our sleeves and it's, we no, say, no, it's okay, I'll take care of even, it myself. Even if you see the law about working, you have like three law. Yes, discrimination on five point, and then you can either work or not, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no, it's no protection, it's no, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, it's test or it's no requirement or you can, uh, it's no 15 days, 20 days. Suspension don't exist mm -hmm. in New York State. Mm -hmm. You can, so if, if a company suspend you, it's their own business. It's mm -hmm. nothing to do with the law mm -hmm. in New York State. So you have a lot of, I mean, it's yeah, a lot we, of space to do a lot of work. We have a lot of work to do to make uh, New York more amenable to working people. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we, we're getting close to, to the closing. I just see the sign. Um, do, you, do you want any any plug, anything you want to, of to, to do. mention? <laughs> No, I'm surprised about you. We're, we're in the middle of an election here, and I'm running for state senate, so I want everybody to check out my website. It's uh, www.ramos, R-A-M-O-S, yeah. for statesenate.com. Um, we're looking for grassroots donations. We're looking for volunteers. Yeah. We're a fully people-powered yeah. campaign. What is the address? Um, Do you have a, of this, of, of the our local, office? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So our office is in Jackson Heights. Mm -hmm. is in, It's 72-24 Broadway, fourth floor okay. in Jackson Heights. So you can take virtually any, any train and any bus to get yeah, there. Yeah. Um, we want it to be as, as you know, I easy. I think you have two lines, so still don't go there. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. open, people can go, it's can It's open, visit. people can go, come sign up, you know, to help us knock on doors, to help us make phone calls. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying to reach as many voters as possible before Thursday, September 13th. And that's the other thing. Unlike every other election day, you know, because here in New York, we're used to voting on Tuesdays. This election's on Thursday. So oh, we want to make sure, uh, right, because we needed to figure out how to make this more ma confusing. Ma ma more um, it's Thursday, September 13th. Okay. And those people can still register? Or it's close. It was Yesterday close. Yesterday was, was the close. last day. What, what still can be done, though, is a change of address. So if you have moved recently into Astoria, Jackson Heights, Corona, East Elmhurst, parts of Woodside and Elmhurst, um, then you, can, you should update your address so that you can be eligible for, to vote in this election. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, thank you for it's, having me. Thank you very much. I want to come back. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, we will. And then we will <laughs> do, do the, victory, uh, the victory show. Very good. Uh, that was Face to Face. And uh, please keep watching your news on Presenza.com. And uh, hope to see you very soon. Thank you.